Sharon Cullen Art. Today I'm doing another unboxing. I'm unable to answer your question. Try again later. Good night, Bixby. What a silly watch. Anyway, she talks more than I do. No, not really. <laughs> anyway, so I got a quick unboxing. Actually, two. Um, one of them I've already unboxed. No, Diesel. Oh, for goodness sakes. And this one I've already unboxed, so I'm going to save that one. But another thing that I got today was, it was a heartache. But I'll tell you what, I got it for free. And I'll tell you what happened. Um, Amazon. I'm getting so tired of Amazon and all of their games with their delivery. They lost this the first time. And then yesterday, I got one of four pens in the mail. I had ordered a set of calligraphy pens and it was a set of four, and they said they got lost, and then one of them came in a box yesterday. Got it for free. I called them and I said, I never got my order that was before this pen came. They said, oh, it was lost. We see that the delivery person put down that it was lost, so um, you'll have to reorder it. And I said, well, that's a bunch of BS. I want it overnighted to me. I shouldn't have to wait, you know? So they said, okay, we'll overnight it to you. Two days for overnight shipping because it was a certain time in the day. I thought, well, that's crazy. So then today, my watch goes off and tells me that, excuse me, I got to throw his toy. There you go. Now go lay down. They told me that um, it would come today. So my watch tells me it has been hand delivered to the resident. I was up here doing my Inktober sketch. Nobody hand-delivered me anything or knocked on the door. And Diesel knows when a truck is coming. He knows. You guys, you guys have seen it. So I thought, this is a bunch of BS. Well, I finally got a hold of logistics. This was two hours later. And I fight with them because I feel like it's worth it to get good customer service. You know, I'm paying all this money for a Prime membership. I should get good customer service. So they give me the number to logistics and I call them and they, they say all they're doing is tracking the package. I say, I can track that package. And they say, well, we get more information than you do. And I said, well, what do you get? Do you get the delivery of where they delivered it to? And she said, well, yeah, they said they delivered it to you. And I said, but they didn't. And I said, do you have GPS coordinates? And she says, yes, we do, but there's a lot of numbers. She was young and didn't understand latitude and longitude. So I said, just give me the numbers, read them back to her. I said, okay, thank you. I get on Google Maps, put in the latitude and the longitude, and bam, up comes my neighbor. Now, they didn't hand deliver it to my neighbor because he wasn't home either. Their packages were sitting on the front porch with my packages. But in the meantime, because I went through two hours of hell with them getting pushed around, they refunded everything. So I got this for free. <laughs> um, one thing was just a folding board. I've been wanting to try one of these folding boards for um, folding shirts. I do a lot of packing, and I'm going to be doing a lot of packing with the move. So I wanted one of those boards to make it easier um, and make things neat. But anyway, the first package, I'm babbling. This one is four calligraphy pens. Uh, you can get them on Amazon for about $22. They're four different sizes. I already got the red one. I should save this one and, and give it away in a giveaway. What do you guys think? Maybe I'll do that. That would be a good idea. I'll add it to my giveaway because I'm adding little items as I go along. I've got all sorts of good stuff. Um, and then there's these three. That one is a one, it's the skinniest one, 1 1.5. And I tell you what, I was having difficulty writing with it because I'm a lefty. And lefties tend to push across the paper um, when they're writing. Well, for you, if you're watching this, it would probably be this way. But um, if you're writing, we tend to write and push our letters along the paper, whereas a righty tends to pull the letters across the paper. So that can make it a little more difficult to um, use these types of pens, and it is. So, and they're very flat, but they're great for lettering, and I'll show them to you in a sec. But anyway, I got four of them, 
and that one's a 1.5. Then I've got a 2.4, which is a little bit wider. You can see up here at the top, right up there. And then I've got a 3.8 right, right there. And then I got a 6.0 right up there at the top. I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, doesn't want to focus. Focus, focus. Okay, well, anyway, you get the idea. So, for calligraphy pens, I thought they'd be pretty cool to have. Now, on to my other item. This one was very inexpensive. Can't remember the price. I will try to post it in here, right up in the corner. <laughs> um, but next item, I got at Cheap Joe's, and it's pretty cool. I haven't really quite decided how I'm going to use it, but it does have many uses. It is called the Miller's Workhorse Palette, and to get the whole palette, the whole setup, you can buy pieces individually for this too because it comes apart. The whole palette is $23.29 right now. Cheap. Wait till you see everything that's in this palette. It is um, nine and a half by 13 and a half inches, and it comes like this, fully sealed on all sides, kind of like one of those pipe palettes, but um, it's completely sealed. So you pop these up on all four sides, and the lid comes off and becomes an inside palette. Now it's got that shiny surface, so I've got a feeling we'll have water beating up. Let me just put it on here with my fingers, some dirty water. Yeah, it's gonna wanna beat up, so I um, have to use a magic eraser and carefully get that off of there, but then it's still closed. That's because you have another lid here. Oh, it comes out on this side. This I didn't realize that. Ah! Hang on a second. It's hard to do this upright. On this side, it's got corners so that you can get your fingers underneath there and lift things out. So you've got a second mixing tray here, like a like a butcher's tray size mixing tray. So now you've got two mixing trays. Great for studio work when you're doing lots of big paintings or whatever. And um, I recently bought a roll of cotton watercolor paper, um, 15 feet or five yards. Uh, it's just the B paper, but I thought I'd give it a shot on this roll if I like rolled paper. Um, and I can use this a lot for videos and for smaller projects and for cards and everything. But anyway, that'll be great too to do large paintings. I want to start practicing larger paintings. So then you open this up, and this is what you see inside are all of these wells and these trays. Well, you wonder, why are they wiggling and not staying in? Well, because there's six of them here. I got six trays, so they all come out. Everything comes out. I got two more here, and I've got two more here, and then up here I have... These three, they don't, they don't only give you one of each of these. These three for watercolors um, to put into these. So there's 21, 21 um, little cup things with, you know, wells, seven in each thing. So there's 21. And then that comes out, and you've also got this. So if you're doing a lot of large washes and you need a lot of space, you can take everything apart. If you just want to use one little thing, you can take that apart. There's so many options to use with this, this thing. You can mix it up and put these in different spots, and that's fine too. Oh, no, you can't. That has to go up there. So these all go up on the top, and then these mixing trays go on the bottom, like this. And easy to get out again because you've got the corner thing right there, down in the corner. Um, but anyway, isn't that really cool? $23. Now, if you buy these pieces separate, if you want to get extra seven well pallets like this, um, they are $4.49 open stock. The large mixing pallet, if you want to get just the... This thing, oh, I think it's just this thing, the 9 by 12 and a half, that's 11 39 
Then to get these are $3.09. So if you start adding all of these up, um, it starts to cost a lot of money, you know? You, you really are, are getting a deal by buying this for $23.29. Um, but I'm excited to use it. Um, I am going away for a week, and I don't think I'll be taking it with me. It's a lot to carry along, and I really don't need to use it up north, but it's very cool. Very cool to have. This could be great for my gouache, too, um, if I want to use fresh gouache instead of my dried gouache. You know, there's so many options. So anyway, I wanted to show you that, and I showed you the paper, showed you the pens, I also have the Doodle and Sketch Box, which I've started my video on, um, but I'm waiting on them to upload their work video, and then I will do the painting and put it all together. I also got my calendar, as you many of you saw over on Instagram. My artwork is being um, used for the month of July in this calendar. So that is in my Doodle and Sketch video at the beginning. I'll show you part of that. Um, and that is pretty much it. I think I got everything. But like I said, oh no, there's one more, one more item. One more item. And I almost threw it away because I threw a box in the garbage and this fell out. <laughs> Thank God I got it. This is a Cheap Joe's Legend Kalinsky Sable size 4. I've been wanting a new size 4. And it is big. It's a big 4. Um... You can see, my paper just fell over. You can see how big it is. When I compare it to a, let's see, is this a four? Oh, that's a four synthetic. So if I put them side by side, you can see the difference. It's longer, but it's got a long point on it. Um, and I wanted a finishing brush, you know, something that I could do fine work on. Um, so I got this brush to do it with. And... I'm really looking forward to using it. And I got a few new watercolors. I got, let's see what I got. I got Gothite Brown Ochre from Daniel Smith. I've already filled uh, palettes with it. I was starting another video on that, but I may redo it. So I got that one. Got more Hematite Genuine because I go through this like crazy. Now, I'm on my fourth tube of this since Primatech really started taking off. I think last year I did a video on the Primatech set of five paints or six paints that they give you the little 5ml tubes. So um, then I went ahead and bought more hematite. I used up the little tube, used up a big tube, used up another big tube, and now I've got this one um, that I'm using, or this one, I'm sorry. Um, and then I also got Lunar Black. And I'll have some new colors in my Doodle and Sketch palette to show you. Not Daniel Smith, but... Um, oh, also I wanted to show you guys this little thing that I got online on Amazon. You can get them... You, I was thinking of making a watercolor palette out of it. It is so pretty. But um, you flip it open. I don't think it opens... Whoops. It got stuck. There we go. It, oh, yeah, it opens flat, and it's got a white inside, which is really nice, and it's got two levels, so I am clumsy today. <laughs> it's got two levels. You can take this tray out, and then you've got another tray, and I've got it upside down. I don't want my brushes ruined, but I put some brushes and pens in there that I had taken up north last week, and it's fine for some of my shorter brushes, but I thought this would be a really cool idea to put your paints... You could, pop, you could put them in this little tray if you wanted to um, cover this up, but I think I'd put pencils and stuff in that and then put my watercolors down here. It's a little bit deeper than what you would need, but um, I don't have a pan sitting out right now. But um, let me see here. I do have a pan right here I can grab out of my palette because I keep adding more pans here. Here's a dirty pan that I made a mess of. Um, this one, if I put it in here, 
you can see how much deeper it is. It's kind of deep in there, but it's not bad if you're, you know, if you get used to it, it wouldn't be bad. You could put them on the tray, like I said, and it would be the right size. So, Diesel, you give me this. Give, give. Here, now go lay down. Give, give. When I say give, he leaves. He doesn't want to share. <laughs> so you could use this tray, but um, I think it's too pretty to use. So I haven't quite decided what I want to do with it. So in the meantime, I've been just using it as a pencil travel thing. And you can put different levels of stuff in here. Like I had my brushes in the bottom, and then I had my pens in the top. And then I just make sure that when I'm packing, they go upright so that my... my um, brushes don't get ruined and then I can put my brushes down here like this and then pens up here like this and then I just snap it shut and I'm ready to go but this is really cool this was cheap got it on Amazon I'll try to remember to link it down below and I believe that's all the art supplies I got I did get some stuff from cheap Joe's that are cute and they're gonna go on some future sketchbook uh, one says create and it says cheap Joe's art stuff and oops, that's not it. And then the other one says, oh my gosh, what a mess this is. The other one says artist and it says cheapjoes.com and I got black ink on it. Ugh. So anyway, I'm going to put those on a sketchbook, but I haven't decided which one yet. So I believe I covered all my new goodies and my doodle and sketch video will be coming soon. And I will be hitting you up with another Pentelic update on some of the new supplies that I'm getting for this month. So stay tuned. Remember, everybody, be courageous, paint with wild abandon, and most of all, be kind to each other. Bye-bye.